Good morning everyone. Just letting you know this is going to be a real short video this time. Um, the reason why I hadn't made a video uh, last week or whatever a few days ago last week was a real it was a real I don't know what you want to call it but it it was it was a week to remember Julie was in the hospital um, we thought it was just a kidney stone thing but now because they did uh, some blood work on her and uh, it came up that she had uh, E. coli and after Julie looks up what uh, all the symptoms of E. coli was she had every one of those symptoms prior to her going to the hospital last week she went in last Tuesday and didn't get home until Sunday so I mean she was she was sick as, as you can possibly be so and then uh, I go back into work this this week I went back to work yesterday or the day before and uh, I twist my knee so <laughs> I'm still working but it's it's Julie says we're quite a pair so this is gonna be a real quick video um, I'll see if Julie's in the mood to say anything um, this morning but if not this will probably be the the end of it so we'll see if she's in the mood to talk later on today all right everybody I'm back and uh, as promised um, Julie is she's here and uh, <laughs> she's uh, feeling a whole lot better today yeah so yeah it was it was super bad I mean and I I, I don't think I mentioned that uh, earlier today that because of uh, the e. coli infection she was really dehydrated and that caused a kidney stone issue also Mm -hmm. So she has a kidney stone stuck, plus she has a big stone in her kidney yet. And uh, to relieve the pressure, we're not going to show you, but to relieve the pressure of the kidney stone pain, they hooked up a tube coming out of her back from her kidney, and it, it it's, it's relieving it's it's relieving the pressure of of the stuck stone, the pressure of the urine coming down. And, and causing, I mean, it, if you've never had a kidney stone, it is extremely, extremely painful to have that pressure. I have a tube that goes into my kidney with the other end of the tube having a bag on it that collects the urine so it doesn't back up and in, get infected. Right, right. So, so unfortunately, um, the doctors, uh, or the doctor, I should say, wants to do the operation to remove the big stone and the little stone all at the same time. The big stone will have to be removed again through Julie's back. They're going to cut a small incision in her back and in her kidney and pull that big stone out. And then they're going to go the old-fashioned way again. I'm not going to get graphic, but the old-fashioned way and remove the smaller stone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Remove the smaller stone uh, at, at the same, well, not the same time, but during the same procedure. And then uh, that's going to take place uh, towards the end of next month. July 25th. Uh, July 25th. So, uh, luckily, she's not in pain. Not in pain like not she like was. was. Not anywhere near like she was. Um, she said that she's feeling a little bit stronger today. She's got a uh, a follow up appointment with our family doctor tomorrow, and then uh, in, unless our doctor has anything else to say, she's cleared to go to work Friday. So she's been off work since last Tuesday or, or a week a week when ago I yesterday. Three fifteen on the twenty ninth. Yeah, so she's been off work for quite a while. Um, she's been off work for quite a while and it's been kind of chaotic at her work because of a new computer system that they're... We had a major computer failure in the middle of the month. Hi! <laughs> we had a major computer failure in the middle of the month, so we've been doing everything kind of old school and preparing for the new system with like 
which wasn't going to be fully in effect until August. We just jam-packed it all in two weeks, and we're starting it. We started it on the 1st of June. So. Yeah. So, and show them your arms. This oh. is good. Yeah. The, <laughs> she was poked on that side there. That was Here's where her first IV. IV was. And after a day or so, it failed and was just pumping uh, fluid into her arm. Mm -hmm. And then that big bruise there, that was from a blood draw. And up, blood culture, and this is from the blood culture. Yeah. And then... And then they poked me there, and they poked me there. Yeah. They, they got her all over they the place. down there. For all kinds of tests and stuff. So she's she looks like somebody beat the snot out of her. They got me there. So... But uh, we're going to call this video complete. I um, want you guys to stay alert, stay safe, to just pray, and we'll see you next time.